Hey YouTube, we're here just to show you how to fix a simple HDMI problem with um, two Samsung monitors. Now, if you notice here on your immediate left, we have a normal Samsung monitor, right? Properly configured. Now, on your right, we have another monitor that is out of. Um, range of the monitor as you can see now um, and if you can also notice um, this one is showing slightly bleach out color in comparison to the other one over here which the pixels are very sharp and focused now um, I could show you for example if you look at Windows Media Player over here when it comes over this side, I'm not sure if you can see it's kind of bleached out and out of focus. Now, move it back over on this side, you know, this is sharp. Now, this is just a simple problem. Now, this Samsung monitor over here is working fine, and the one in with the problem is this one over here. Now, you might be asking yourself, how can I fix this? Now, it's a simple matter of just getting your remote. This is your standard Samsung remote and what you're going to do here is you're going to press menu once you press menu you're going to come down and move down to input All right, then you're going to press enter and then in my case is HDMI 1 you're going to edit name and in this case you can see HDMI 1 is showing the source as being a TV. Now, simple fix now is just to choose the appropriate media. Now, I'm going to go for a wide shot so just pay attention. It's on TV. Move down. Blu-ray is the same. Blu-ray. Now, what you want is for a PC to switch it to PC. Boom. The monitor switches and look at that. Instant change. Now, look at this monitor now. Everything is in range. You can clearly see the ta ta taskbar. Right? The picture is no longer washed out or bleached out. Just like the one on the left. And there you have it. How to fix a simple HDMI problem. Now, you might be wondering which model monitor I'm using. Now, this might apply to other models. But the particular model I'm using is the Samsung SyncMaster 233 HD uh, it's featured here right. now as I said this fix also can apply to other monitors so it's a simple matter of you go into your pretty little remote clicking on the menu button and scrolling down to your input settings and just changing what you have it under might be set to PC or it might be set to some other settings for it let's play around with these settings and you should find one that should correct the problem and then your monitor should be showing as clean and as crisp as this monitor here alright thank you if you like my video please rate comment and Make sure to subscribe. Okay, thank you. Peace out.